it's a good one. It's flat, and if I want to make a point out of it, uh, or two, I could uh, just uh, use a billet or a small pressure flaker and uh, remove uh, flakes from uh, either side. But it's not very good for a uh, scraper because it has a cortex, part of the cortex. You want a, uh, uh, some of the cobble that is uh, pure dacite. But uh, with a little bit of uh, retouching, you can remove it on the um, dorsal surface, the cortex, and sometimes you want a um, thick uh, flake if you want to use it as a chopper. But if you want to use it as a knife or a scraper or a preform for a point, it should be fairly thin. Um, I'll try and see if I can remove a flick this way. Oh, well, <laughs> that's shattered. And what happened is uh, this piece. Uh, I had struck it before and didn't to remove all the way from the core. So it's our most common type of, uh, of uh, artifact. Oh. Oh. There's another. And uh, something else I should mention is uh, that I um, heat treated in a kiln because the uh, heat treatment uh, goes back to about uh, 20, 30,000 years in Europe and uh, Asia. And uh, it's uh, known as far back as Clovis time, it's in North America. And it's, it's simply uh, uh, means uh, uh, people were, uh, they found out that if you heat a rock in a Control the environment, it recrystallizes the stone and it makes it su more suitable for uh, flaking. I heated this up to 750 uh, Fahrenheit, and at that stage, it, uh, the uh, uh, crystal's uh, uh, size becomes uh, smaller and more, more even.